Oh no! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> what are you waiting for? It doesn't fit together. Let me see. Nice planting! Well, I suppose I couldn't have done it better myself. The pollinated seedlings, when planted with care, produced bushels of fruit for the Zerbos to share. But the Zerbos are cautious about which fruit is right, so the Zumbinis must coax them into the light. The phone ringing? Mom? I think that's your phone. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Just watching this video.
Pues son beanies. The zoom beanies need to use the light projectors in the corral to figure out the right kind of snozzleberry to feed each zerbel. Each zerbel is especially fond of two particular snozzleberry traits. The snozzleberries were eaten. The zerbels were well fed. Onward, zoom beanies. For the barn lies ahead. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. Zerbals. Now they are free to roam happily in the wild. My, my! The Zerbal population seems to be growing. The plan is working! Zerbals! Each zerbal released into the wild helps to restore the isle's natural balance.
There's that Zumbini team spirit. Across the treacherous sea they did sail to encounter a catapult made of iron, wood, and nails. Come on. Congratulations, you've gotten all the Zumbinis up the cliffs of Zumbini Isle. The fearless Zumbinis catapulted onto the cliffs and arrived at a wall with ancient hieroglyphs. The wall protected the towering Tum Tum tree. Its leaves are the nutrition that the caterpillars need.
Don Zumbini.